Elizabeth Smart, who was kidnapped at age 14 from her Utah home and held for nine months, is preparing a memoir of her ordeal. The Associated Press reports that Miss Smart will discuss her kidnapping ordeal, the rescue and how she works as an advocate for children after the traumatic experience. Ms. Smart is now a 25-year-old college senior at Brigham Young University. Utah Congressman-elect Chris Stewart will write Ms. Smart's memoir. Mr. Stewart has reportedly written other books with religious and patriotic themes. She has taken a professional outlook on this and is able to talk in an impressive way about these things frankly, Congressman Stewart told the AP. She's not shining away from this story. Ms. Smart's kidnapper, Brian David Mitchell was convicted in December 2010 of kidnapping and unlawful transportation of a minor across state lines for the purposes of illegal sex. Mr. Mitchell, the former traveling street preacher, kidnapped Ms. Smart from her bedroom at night point in 2002. Mr. Mitchell was sentenced to life in prison for his crimes. During her kidnapper's trial, Ms. Smart told the court that Mr. Mitchell would pray that she could fulfill her wifely duties. The things that he would say in his prayers were things that I would never have said, she said, according to ABC News. He would say, please bless me, that I would be able to co-op with my wifely beauty and be able to rise to the occasion and fulfill my wifely duties. That is about the farthest thing from my prayers. Nine months of living with him and seeing him proclaim that he was God's servant and called to do God's work and everything he did to me, is something that I know that God would not tell somebody to do. Ms. Smart added, God would never tell someone to kidnap her at knife point from their bed, from her sister's side, never continue to rape her and sexually abuse her. Ms. Smart married a fellow Mormon missionary, Matthew Gilmore, earlier this year. Ms. Smart's publicist Christopher Thomas told the AP that her memoir will also talk about the Elizabeth Smart Foundation's work to protect children. She started the foundation to get her message across, and book was another way to do it. Mr. Thomas said. The AP notes that this will be the fourth book about Ms. Smart's nine months in captivity. Held Captive was published shortly after Ms. Smart was rescued from her captors. Bringing Elizabeth Home, A Journey of Faith and Hope was written by her parents and plain sight. The startling truth behind the Elizabeth Smart investigation was written by news photographer Tom Smart. The Elizabeth Smart Foundation works to prevent and stop predatory crimes. The foundation seeks to empower children through education and understanding of choices and options and to support law enforcement in the rescuing of victims.